Hey guys, today we will un, uh, explore set analysis and we will try to understand that with the help of a simple data set. So I have got this uh, small data set uh, with two years of data, 23 and 24, with few category, product and uh, sales. Okay. So with the help of this data set, help of this data set, let's explore uh, set analysis. So I have this um, sheet with uh, three filters category product and year so we know in click the data model is associated so every selections we make is going to pass across the entire data model right so let me create a simple kpi <clears throat> let me let's add a measure called sum of sales so every selection we make uh, in the filters is automatically going to reflect. So whatever product I select or category I select, I'm going to get the respective uh, sales value, right? So there are scenarios uh, or situations where we have to override this association and we have to form a group, a set of uh, records with an isolated uh, uh, KPA or a metrics where you would like to explore right outside the association or overriding the association so in such cases uh, our set analysis will help us okay we cannot go with an if statement because if statement will work only if the particular filter or selection is made or else the else it, it's going to fail right but set gives you the, the power and flexibility to form subgroups within your associative models okay so let's understand more with an example so right now we saw uh, the kpa value changes as per our selection okay so let's select 2023 okay so the sum of sales is 950 okay now let me create one more uh, kpa So I'm going to use set okay so my key matrix is sum of sales this is what I'm going to sum now set analysis starts with curly braces and within that we have angle braces the uh, important uh, uh, modules right one is operator and the <coughs> you know, modifier and the ident identifier okay so what so what we have within this angle brace is our modifier okay so here i'm going to pass a custom a static filter say year is equal to within curly braces again since it is an integer i'm going to pass the value directly if not it will be in quotes single quotes okay let me apply this we could see the same 950 over here for the year 2023 now the difference is when I select this, uh, deselect this filter, this is going to change because of the association. Whereas this will still remain the same since I have hard coded the value filter, right? So it's always going to return me uh, sales for 2023, uh, irrespective of my filter selection over here. Even if I select 24, this is going to return for 24, whereas this will still show me the sales for 2023. So, so it's an isolated uh, model within the associative model. So I have I was able to get a separate group of data. Okay, so that's the power of set, and that's how we use set analysis. Okay, so so this is for year 2023. Now I can modify the same. I can simply remove this. I can leave it blank. That means. I'm totally ignoring the year okay <clears throat> so earlier only 23 was considered and all other selections were ignored now when I say blank all of my selections are going to be ignored doesn't matter 23 or 24 or I select both none of my selections in this year filter will be reflected here so year is equal to blank is going to ignore all my selections Whereas the other fields will have an effect. So I could see uh, for product, the total sales is 200. Or let me go with category. So category should have data in both the years. So category says 250 and 
when i select 2023 so 23 category sales is 100 whereas this is considering the category filter but ignoring the year filter okay so that's how uh, the year is equal to blank work so whatever field you want to ignore you can simply uh, mention the field and equal to blank okay and we can ignore multiple fields similarly category is equal to blank okay this is going to ignore both year and category so now only the product selections will be reflected okay so even doesn't matter what i select in category is not going to affect this okay so this is one thing let me let us look into one more scenario let's say i want to filter multiple items let's say category a product soap okay so the total sales is 100 for category a and product soap okay so i could say category is equal to since it is an string and we have to pass it within single quotes so category is going to be a and my product is going to be soap again being a string it should be inside single quotes okay so now i could see it is 100 even if i clear this it is always going to be 100 so it's going to return only the value for category a and product soap always okay whereas this is our overall sales <coughs> okay so so this what we see here is and is a uh, uh, the sales of these two combinations right see category a with uh, uh, category a has got these two products i'm selecting one out of it so the combination of a and soap is what we see here okay whereas we so earlier we saw right uh, the identifier and modifier so we have one more thing called operator okay so let's explore one operator where we have four types of operators let's explore an operator called union operator um imagine i have this product category a um, i'm sorry uh, category a but I've, i want to select some other product which is not associated to category a let's say chips okay so chips has got sales of 350 whereas category a has got sales of 250 but i cannot select both of them together it's not associated with category a chips is associated with category d right so here i cannot uh, say category a with chips this is not going to work right so a is not associated with chips so combination of a comma chips is going to return zero so but still if i still want to know the sales of category a it's along with chips then i have to split this into two different right so i'll close this here i'll close this here and i'll merge these two using an union operator so this is going to return a union of <coughs> this sales with this sales okay remember it's not a sum it, i mean it's not an addition symbol whereas it's an union okay so now it's returning 250 which is nothing but the sales of category a which is 250 plus sales of chips which is 350 so 250 plus 350 600 is what we get here okay and you could you could have noticed this changes as per my selection so category a when i select so this union part fails and it returns only for this part okay so if i want to avoid that i can ignore the selection earlier we saw uh, giving a field is equal to blank right so similarly we have this one okay we call this as identifier so when i say one it's going to ignore all my selections except this okay so 
even if I select A, see now it doesn't change, right? If, if I select chips, it's not going to change. So when I say 1, it's going to consider only this selection. Uh, earlier we saw category is equal to or product is equal to blank. So that means it's not going to any of my selection. Whereas here, this 1 is going to exclude all my other selections except this. Okay. So, or I, I could give you even more better example. Um, let's say we have the sum of sales. I'll simply say 1. Okay. So, that means I'm ignoring the entire data model, all my selections. So, whatever product I select year I select or category I select right it's not going to change so this is immune to my entire data model when I say one okay so by default the identifier will be dollar uh, which which is implicitly defined I mean whether we explicitly say dollar or not it is understood by default it is dollar so it's going to return the current selection okay so having dollar is same as not having the sum of sales right both are the same so both are going to behave the same way whereas when you say one it's going to ignore the entire uh, selections okay so, so when i say one it's going to ignore all my filter selections so we saw union uh, we saw one and we saw blank so we we saw union and we explored uh, one and we even saw blank fields and uh, yeah so let me uh, <coughs> let us see one more operator uh, let's say i have this Um, filter product is equal to chips so this is going to return sales for chips it doesn't matter what I select right and it's not going to ignore only the product but it's also going to ignore the other filters also because I have given one over here so it's going to ignore the all my filters across the entire uh, data model so it's always going to return 350 whereas now if i use this operator one minus this data then it's going to give me the rest of the sales so you if you noticed here the total sales is 2350 for the chips it is 350 so i'm getting 2000 so it's it's excluding 350 right so so excluding the product chips it's going to return the remaining set of values okay so for that we can go with negative symbol or uh, there is one more uh, uh, this is identifier or within this right if i want to say uh, ignore chips so when i say product negative negative equal to chips that means product is not equal to chips so again this is going to give me results uh, so other, but this is going to still consider all my other selections so when I say uh, let's say year 2023 and if I have no I don't have chips over there uh, if I select 24 I see chips but so along with chips it is 1400 excluding chips it is 1050 and that's what you see here so it's going to ignore my uh, chips in the product and it's but it still considers my year and other filter selections okay so this is how you exclude a, a value or or by removing this negative you say product equal to chip so you can include chips as a product so either you include or you exclude with this and this is union operator and we have other operators and finally we will see one more thing uh, a wild card match right so rather than saying product is equal to shampoo or soap i can select both which starts with yes right so if i say 
fraud I so so wildcard should be in double quotes and it says yes start so anything starts with yes include all those products okay so it is returning 350 we can quickly validate it shampoo and soap is returning 350 so so what we get here is sales for all the product which starts with yes so this is uh, another way of filtering uh, uh, dimension um, with wildcard okay so for the basics of set analysis I uh, hope we all understood the basics and of set and why do we need set and how to use set analysis the power of set analysis basically please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching